Hey guys, Brick Queen here, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I, for one, am very excited to say that there is new Lego Harry Potter news out. So we have pictures of the four uh, 2021 Harry Potter sets that we've been hearing about for a while, these book sets, and we've, I think we've even seen some kind of uh, uh, <laughs> images that weren't very clear, basically. Um, so now we actually know really what they look like and have a really good idea of it. And I, for one, am impressed. Um, this is just the first one. Like I said, there are four of these. So they're calling them Hogwarts Moment and then whatever class. So Hogwarts Moment Transfiguration Class. And then the next one is Hogwarts Moment whatever other class. Um, I find the title of it a little bit strange. And maybe that's just a temporary thing. They might even change it. Who knows? Um, actually... Let's let's look at this. Um, by the way, this is on Brickset.com. Wonderful place if you want to check out um, uh, existing sets, pictures of them, things like that. So more images over here. Here is actually the box. So I guess it's definitely going to be Hogwarts Moment Transfiguration Class. Um, I don't see the price listed on here right now, but what I had heard before is that each one of these is going to be about $20, which... Sounds about right to me. I think these look absolutely fantastic. Um, and if you look at, well, actually, let me scroll up here so you can see this. Um, <laughs> if you look at McGonagall, I think she looks fantastic in this. I love her dress, um, or robes, rather. Uh, but I love the fact that the, the bottom part, the dress piece, has printing on it. It looks fantastic. All of these book sets are just so much better than what I was expecting. Because what I was expecting, in my mind, when I heard that they were going to make, like, Harry Potter book sets, I was thinking of what they did with, like, the Disney princess stuff and made, like, the, uh, was it, my, not micro dolls, mini dolls? Is that what they were called? Mini dolls, maybe? Um, I mean, they were cute, don't get me wrong, and I still want to get those. I haven't gotten any yet, but I still want to own those. Um, but that's what I was expecting from the Harry Potter sets. And they, in my opinion, have far, far outdone themselves. I cannot wait to get these sets. Um, and I don't see, I'm trying to look on here. They say 2021. I don't know exactly when in 2021. I would say if they are expecting it in the first part of 2021, we might even start seeing these, you know, next month. A lot of times that happens early 2021 stuff actually comes out late 2020. That happens. Um, but let's see. Look at McGonagall. She looks amazing. Um, <laughs> I am very, very excited about these. Like I said, this is just the first one, but you have, it still looks like a book, but instead of laying down like the Disney princess ones, these actually stand up and open up to form a scene. And I love it. Love, love, love these. Um, every one of them looks incredible. Just so much, so much awesomeness going on in this. The Transfiguration classroom looks amazing. I'm hoping that like these, where you have what looks like stained glass windows, I'm hoping that those are printed. Uh, from the pictures, it's hard to tell um, because it may be kind of a computerized, you know, generated kind of image. So I don't know if it'll be stickers or printed, but I'm hoping spots like that large and the front of the book, I'm hoping at least those really large spots are printed. That would be fantastic. Um, we also have a potions class. We have one for each house. Base. It's, it's kind of one for each house and they're each different classrooms. Um, so the potions class or the Slytherin set. <laughs> so very, very cool. This one has 271 pieces, and this one has Professor Snape, which is awesome. Uh, I love the fact that <laughs> you have the Seamus version where, you know, the potion just blew up in his face because, well, let's face it, at least at this point, Seamus is not that great at magic. Um, maybe he'll get better later. I can't remember for sure if he really does... Anything spectacular magically later, but 
early on, I know <laughs> he's not that great. Um, but the potions classroom looks fantastic. I love all the potions on the wall. Uh, both looks like, that looks like a sticker to me because I can see the edges. I don't know. Maybe it's printed. Maybe it's a sticker. Don't know. Now that I'm seeing the edges up here, this looks like a sticker to me too. I'm just going to wishful thinking here, hope it's printed, but it's probably stickers. Anyway, <laughs> it's still a very, very awesome set. I love all the stuff that you get in each one of these. There's just so much in it and so much detail. Uh, I think whoever designed these sets, I think is a really big Harry Potter fan because you can tell that they put a lot of time and effort and thought into designing these. So there's all kinds of little things uh, that should be included that definitely are. You even have like a snake up here. Um, I love that these books fold out into a whole classroom. And so there's your, your four books together. I think it's going to be awesome. It's going to be so cute, really, to display these together um, on the shelf. You know, fold it up as, you know, as books. You can just set them on your shelf, like, on a bookcase. It's going to be awesome. I know, it's simplistic, but fantastic. Uh, if that makes any sense whatsoever, I don't care. I love them. Um, <laughs> anyway, so that is the second one. The third one that we have is the Herbology class which is another awesome one. Um, they have only really made the herbology class or the herbology lab really, what, twice now, I think? I think we have two, don't we? Or is it three? I know we've got some different versions of Professor Sprout now. We have, what, three, maybe four different versions of uh, the Mandrakes. I think it's great. I love all of this. I love all the plants and everything included in this. Uh, the herbology class looks really great to me. And let's check out the other images. I see this one has 233 pieces. So it's a little bit smaller than the last one, uh, but nothing, uh, nothing terrible by any means. And you do get a new Cedric Diggory in this. Um, I also love that it comes with uh, the earmuffs, you know, for when the mandrakes scream, they don't, you know, pass out <laughs> like a certain student does when that happens. Um, but anyway, let's check out some of these pictures. This Professor Sprout is adorable. I love it because it looks just like when she was doing the mandrake lesson. I absolutely love this. This Professor Sprout is awesome. Um, and I guess this would be, is this going to be our third version of Professor Sprout? I know I have at least two, maybe three. I can't, it gets to be that I have so many Harry Potter sets and so many Harry Potter minifigures. I can't keep track of exactly how many I have. Uh, but anyway, Cedric Diggory and Neville Longbottom. Uh, for the herbology uh, lab here, or, well, herbology classroom. But look at all the detail and everything you get in this. Um, I love that it's even got this little sign, be aware. <laughs> so cute. So, so cute. Okay, the last set is the charms class. Um, so, now this one, I don't know. This one is a little different to me because... I'm, I'm almost surprised that they included this version of Professor Flitwick um, because they did, if you, if you look back at the old movies, I mean, like, they did at one point completely change the look of Professor Flitwick. So this is more like what he started out looking like. And then the other Professor Flitwicks that we have are the second version of him, really. So, I mean, I'm surprised to see this version, but honestly, I'm glad uh, because this was what he looked like in the beginning. So I'm glad we have this particular version of Professor Flitwick. It looks totally different than what we're used to seeing, but it actually does represent 
the early version of Professor Flitwick. So this one has 256 pieces, kind of right in the middle um, of some of the others. And there's a nice up close look at them. Um, he kind of, this Flitwick reminds me of uh, some of the hobbits from Lord of the Rings. I think that, I think they even used that beard, maybe a different color of that beard on one of the hobbits. Um, or not really the hobbits, uh, one of the dwarves rather. Um, and maybe even, maybe he even was a white <laughs> beard for the dwarf. I don't remember for sure, but I know I've seen that, that beard piece before. I was thinking it was like a tannish or a reddish color if I'm remembering right. But I haven't looked at those sets in quite a while. And also Cho Chang and Harry Potter in this one. Of course, after a while you're like, ah, look, this is like the 15th millionth Harry Potter minifigure. Uh, who cares? It's much more exciting to see this Flitwick and Cho Chang. Um, I don't know, just looking at this. Uh, well, Cho Chang does have short legs here. I don't know if that's... I don't think that it gave her short legs before, did they? I can't remember. I can't remember, but the point is, I absolutely love these sets. All four of them. Love, 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 love. Um, <laughs> so early 2021, and from what I had heard before, probably about $20 a piece. I wouldn't be surprised if they're actually $25 a piece, given uh, the, the number of pieces in these. If they do come out and they're $25 a piece, that is not going to shock me. Um, but $20 a piece is definitely reasonable. Um, but I just love it. This is, you know, Wingardium <laughs> Leviosa. <laughs> anyway, I just love all of these. I I can't wait to own every one of these. It shows you, you know, there's the, the book closed and then you open it up and you have a whole classroom set inside. I love it. These are so much better than what I was expecting. Lego has outdone themselves. These are awesome. Love, 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 love all of these sets. Which one of these four is your favorite? Um, because I don't think I can pick one. I don't think I can pick a favorite. Um, I don't know. They're all really, really cool. Okay, I'm definitely going to have to get all four of these. But let me... If I... Hmm... If I had to pick a favorite, it might be the Transfiguration Classroom because I really like this particular McGonagall. But also, I really, really like the Charmed Classroom because you get this particular version of Flitwick. So picking a favorite is like really, really hard, but they're all incredibly awesome. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I, for one, am super excited to finally see the official pictures of these. I've been waiting for the real pictures to come out because we've been speculating for a long time on what these sets are actually gonna end up looking like and they are so much better than what I thought so I'm super excited hope you are too um stay tuned for more uh lego videos and probably a whole lot more lego harry potter videos coming very soon